my name is Giovanna and I'm a senior from Brunswick. Hi, my name is Angelina. I'm also a senior from Brunswick. And welcome to Diversify Medical Technologies. This program will prep you for any medical profession that you may be interested in. I took this program because I've always had a love for the medical field and I wanted to get a hands-on learning experience. I took this program because I was also very interested in the medical field. For me, my mom is a nurse, so I always kind of knew from a young age that I wanted to go into nursing or something in the medical field. One of the cool things is our lab here is set up to mimic the real hospital setting, so we're gonna take you on a tour of our lab. In the beginning of junior year, one of the first things that we learned how to do is take height and weight. It is one of the basic skills that we need to do, and we are doing it on a manual scale. Yeah, then sit back for me. Right, you're 122 pounds. Another basic that we learn in junior year is vital signs, and that includes blood pressure. Blood pressure is one of the most important vital signs that there is to know. She's releasing air to get the reading, and her level is... 125 over 76. Thank you. Second semester of junior year, we have the opportunity to test for our state test in nursing assistant, or our STNA. And one of the skills that we have to learn how to do is occupied bed making. Occupied bed making is making a bed when a resident cannot get out of it. So here she is changing the pillowcase and making sure not to bring it too close to her body and um, not contaminate it so that the resident stays clean and safe. Moving into senior year, one of the first things that we learn how to do is electronically chart. Using this program, we can learn how to do assessments, um, admission processes, discharge, and we learn all of that online as if we were in a real hospital setting. Next, we're gonna have Kara explain second semester of senior year, which is early placement. Hi guys, I'm Kara. I'm a senior from Buckeye. And second semester, I'm taking a part in early placement, which is a program where instead of coming to lab, you get to go out and work in your field of study. Right now, I'm working at a long-term care facility in Medina as an STNA. And I think this is a great opportunity because I get to expand my knowledge in the work field while also doing my job, which I love. And if you guys are worried about staying involved, it's not hard at all. I'm still involved in National Honor Society, Student Council, and DARE Mentors back at my home school. Moving on, one of the next things that we do in senior year is learn how to do ECGs or electrocardiograms. We have Sean and Avon who are doing it on each other. All right, hold on for just one second. Stand still while I run it. And it's looking like you're in normal sinus rhythm, so all of your heart's electrical impulses are running smoothly. He's printing out the reports to keep on file so that next time they go to look at his heart, they have a baseline. In addition to this great program, there are also many academic opportunities here at the Career Center. Angelina and I actually have the same exact schedule and she's gonna tell you a little bit about our coursework. The classes that I'm taking this year are AP Statistics, College Credit Plus classes as well, including a College Composition class. And then also in DMT, you get to take College Medical Terminology. As well, we're also taking Chemistry and certain electives, including Sociology and Psychology. In addition, you also earn a lot of certifications here in Diversified Medical Technologies. These include CPR, First Aid, OSHA, and your SCNA, and your Child Abuse Prevention Certification. CPR, in fact, is one of the highest level certifications for medical professions and is often required for anybody when they want to go into the medical field. And it's great because we'll already have it when we graduate high school. And now Angelina is going to take us on the rest of our tour throughout the lab. Okay, we're gonna go over to our clinic rooms. One of the coolest things that we get to do senior year is learn how to do different types of blood work. So here Christina is doing a venipuncture on a fake arm and you learn how to draw blood. Another important skill that you need as a healthcare professional is how to start an IV. So we learned how to do that senior year. And then also second half of senior year, you get to learn how to do head to toe physical assessment. So here, they're demonstrating how to use an ophthalmoscope, which you can use to look at the eyes. Now we're gonna take you over to our laboratory where we do many different kinds of blood tests. Here we're back in our laboratory where we learn how to do many different kinds of blood tests. Here we're gonna demonstrate how to do a blood typing test where you can see what blood type you are. 
You get to learn how to do a finger prick. We also get to do tests with real actual blood on each other. It can be a little scary at first working with real blood, but I think it's one of the coolest things we get to do here in the program because you get to actually do real tests on each other and get real results back. This program is highly competitive, and if you're interested in applying or want to be a part of this program, make sure that you're staying on top of your academics and doing the best that you can. My plans for after I graduate, I'm going to Cleveland State University where I was directly accepted into nursing school and I hope to further my education to be a nurse anesthetist. For me, I am also planning on going to college after this program and going to nursing school and then I hope to continue further my education to become a nurse practitioner. Thank you for coming on our tour of the Diversified Medical Technologies Lab and I hope to see you next year here at the Medina County Career Center.